It's Nancy with Icon Apprentice. Welcome back. We are continuing with Christ the Bridegroom. And of course, as always, before we begin, we place ourselves before God. So let us pray. get the black a little bit of water just a dab twirling of the tip making a nice tip on it and we are going to come in here and put the pupil in going to then come in and with our liner brush get it damp come in here to the unbleached titanium we want to have a little bit of moisture in it because we want it to move come off of this brush so it can't be too thick and we are going to have him kind of He's going to be kind of looking down, so I'm going to come in here and right next to the burnt sienna. We're just going to kind of make a little comma. Um, kind of an exaggerated comma here. So he's kind of looking away from us. And down a little bit. Again with the liner brush, clean that off. Come in with the black. And we are going to outline the iris with the black. I have a little too much like right in here I think I got it a little too thick I'm just trying to push that back but I think I'm gonna have to take a little bit of uh, I'll go back in and reinstate some of that white like that and then what I'm going to do is I'll come in with a little bit of burnt sienna, just a tiny bit of burnt sienna, and reinstate the iris there right on the bottom. It just got a tiny bit it was the tiniest bit, just too thick, but the best way to do it is to it's gonna be hard to come in and take that black out properly. So what I'll do is I'll just go in with it, the burnt sienna, and just reinstate that brown right there. Just that much. And I hope you can see the difference that that made plus maybe right there all right trying to get you to get a good shot you can still see the outline and you can still see the white and 
and then we come in last thing that we do black not too much water but you you want it to flow off and then what we're going to do is we'll make the eyelid will come right there on top just like that it's a little bit rounded all right and there we have his eyes. Still have a little bit of this provincial beige over here. I'm going to add a little bit of water to it, thin it out, and then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to kind of indicate where these ropes I might put a little bit of that burnt sienna in there. I think that's going to be a nice, a nice color there. So I think I'll do, do the outline of the rope in this one here. I think that's going to look a little more natural. And sometimes you just have to experiment a little bit. So.
You can tell when your paint and your brush are getting a little bit too dry, it starts grabbing. When you try to spread the paint, it'll grab. And that's when you know you just need to add a little bit of water to your paint or to your brush. We'll let that dry and I think one more coat on the halo and I think we're we've got some good coverage on that. So as a general rule your outline color is going to be the base color plus a touch of black. Alright, so we are we are ready to do some enliveners on the flesh and uh, we're going to concentrate on the face. We'll do a few on the hands, but mostly uh, we're, we're concentrating our enliveners on the face and what I've done is I've taken some Flesh 3 and I've added some unbleached titanium and just a little bit, tiny bit of water just to make sure that we're using our liner brush, so we want that to flow pretty well. So the first place that we're going to do an enlivener, and I do still have to do the eyebrows, haven't done the eyebrows yet, so I'll be careful about that. So I'm coming up here, I'm just gonna do an enlivener right above the eyebrow, right there, here. right on the nose area and we still have to outline flesh we always do enliveners in the corners of the eye That one got away from me a little bit. I'm going to come back in there and pull that down. We want an enlivener right above the top lip and on the chin and a little bit of an enlivener on the ear and on the neck. A little bit right here. And then I am going to come down and just do a little bit right here on the knuckles. And it's ever so slight.
just a little bit there on the shoulder. And I am going to go in there and try to kick this back a little bit. I just not happy with how much went in there. Because this is such a small area for his eye. So I'm just going to Now, important part on outlining the hair. If the hair is on top of the flesh, as it is right here on the inside, it's the hair that gets outlined. But if the flesh is on top of the hair, the way it is here on the neck, then the flesh gets outlined, not the hair. So just be conscious of that. Now, when it comes out here, over the clothing, then it's going to get outlined. looks pretty good so the one error I did make is that when we get here to the eyebrow this should be flesh outline so see we all continue to make mistakes it just happens it's one of those things don't get don't get upset about it it's okay it happens to all of us 
All right, that looks very nice. So let's go ahead then and let's do some flesh outlining. And to outline the flesh, we can either use Halo Red or we can use Red Earth. So let's just do, I've got Halo Red right here. Let's just use Halo Red. Now, this part of the arm is not going to be outlined because the robe comes over it, but this part will. So again, if clothing comes over it, then it's the clothing that's outlined and not the flesh. So right here, the flesh is coming out, the arm's coming out of the robe. So we will outline that entire arm. This is a time whenever you can, you've made some little mistakes, brought pain out too far, didn't bring it out far enough. This is when you can come in and hide it kind of with your, with your flesh outline. While we have our Halo Red, let's go ahead and put the Halo, the markings on the Halo. We might as well. We haven't, we haven't done anything else yet. So now you can put your line drawing back on, line up everything, and you can trace that on if you like. Okay, so. Here, yeah, the robe is pretty good. That all looks pretty nice. So you can see where that's where that halo then is going to, when the intersections are going to be there. So you can go in and you can trace that if you like, or you can just eyeball it. Now, what I think I'll do is I'll just go in and take my white pencil, and I think I'll just make a little make a little divot here where I think it's going to be. Mm -hmm. And I can get rid of that little white line. It won't have to stay. just for me. And it just gives me an idea where things are going to go. And then you can keep your line drawing out if you need, you know, to reference that.
hopefully you saw that. I was picking it up and fooling with it. So if I got out of camera frame, I'm sorry. But you can see the direction.
I'm using a number three brush. Feel free to use your liner. I think I need a little bit thinner paint here. It's a little bit too thick for me.
And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a number six and some clean water. And here's how I'm going to do this. I'm going to go around the border with just some water. I just want to have it damp. I don't want too much on it, but I want enough that it'll it'll spread. And then Okay, and then I'm going to wipe off almost all of that. And this is how I'm going to apply it. So it's just a tiny bit. how it's going to look. So everything is pretty much done. Uh, we are at a point here where we're going to do the outer border, and I am doing that with Indian Red Oxide. A little bit of flow medium in that.
tape down right on the edge. Top and bottom. We need to make sure that we're connecting the corners. So sometimes the corners are not completely flush. And I just take a liner brush, go in and make a little corner there. 